How's it going everybody? Time to mix things up a little bit and do a robot video. So uh, in addition to giant pumpkins, I also like uh, to build combat robots. This here guy right here is my 60 pound uh, flipping robot called Rocket. It uses uh, CO2 uh, at full pressure. Goes through here, no regulator, straight to the ram. Lifts up this arm and hopefully sends the other guy uh, launching away. Turn the volume down on the old tube. <clears throat> so, as per the usual, I kind of waited till the last minute to get all of the preparations made uh, for uh, Robo Games. So, the changes that I'm making this year are basically a whole lot of nothing. Um, I'm using a different a different motor, hold on, turn the volume down on the TV, uh, different motor this time, I'm going with the 4240-740s, hopefully get a little more speed out of this guy, so what I'm going to do is I just want to show you guys a trick that I kind of learned over the years when greasing these Bane Boss gearboxes, so you just got to take them apart to grease them. They come ungreased and you have to run some grease in them. But uh, I think people kind of overthink it a bit and there's actually a really easy way to do it that probably is just one of those things that's so simple you kind of forget or you don't, don't realize it. So you, un you loosen those up and then the motor mounting plate comes off so this this guy will mount to one of the motors like so. I, uh, I broke my, my snap ring tool, so I have to get another one of those. I'm going to epoxy the magnets on these, and then I can go ahead and mount everything. Don't forget that. I always seem to forget to put these on when I put it back together. So you have your retaining screws off. I pull those out so they're out of the way, and then your first stage, you can take all those off, separate the body, and get everything all taken apart. So what I like to do is I use a zip tie. And then just apply a couple of, couple of swabs, zip tie worth, onto that ring gear there don't don't go crazy with it you can use too much just a couple of go in for another swab kind of make sure it looks sort of even and I think you can see that that's good enough don't go crazy so the ring gear is good then what I like to do is I will put the four gears on. Doot, 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 doot. Like so. I'll go ahead and I'll throw that back on there just because. But then here's the trick. So you take your zip tie and rather than kind of dab it on to each gear individually, if you thread the zip tie through the gears and you just roll them back and forth, it actually spins the gears and applies the grease. And then you kind of shift your pressure and you do the same thing. So, get back on there. So that's it. That's the trick. It's one of those stupid, simple things that actually is uh, kind of helpful. It makes it so you don't have to, uh, you know, kind of put it on there and get it uneven. Gives you nice a nice application of grease on your gears, so your gearbox runs nice and smooth. So we'll do the other side again, just to show you. I get a good swab of grease, pressure one way, shift the pressure, does the other ones. There you go. That's all you need. Then you just reassemble the gearbox. It goes on like that. Make sure that your 
ring gear it has the insets for the for the pins make sure that goes on correctly and there you go the thing that you never forget to put back on that I always do put that back on and then you put your ideally I would be mounting my motor to this but like I said my snap ring tool is a uh, foobar so I'm just gonna put it in temporarily just trying to knock off things as I can get them done so that's that then you can spin it nice and freely once I have my motors and everything assembled I'll run these for you know a few cycles to uh, to wear everything break down the grease a little bit and then they run just nice and smooth so that's a good easy simple tip from uh, Team Wazio so if you're in the uh, San Jose area, come check out Robo Games. It's the third week in April. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Hopefully Rocket will win some fights and toss some people out of the arena. Talk to you soon.